Toys X16, guys. We'll do a little bit of flying around. Also known as the Typhoon. <laughs> the Typhoon, yes. All right, Brussels quadcopter. Do a little flying around, and uh, we're gonna take a little video with the stock camera, and we're also gonna put the uh, the X8 camera, the new HC uh, camera on here, and we're gonna see if it takes better video than the stock camera. And you got to go out to arm it, and you got to go out to kill it, same thing. So, brushless. Brushless quadcopter, it has uh, two rates, it has low and high, it uh, beeps twice for high. We're gonna put it in high just to fight the wind a little better. And I'm actually gonna start the video. I'm gonna see if we can do a little video as well. I've not flown it with the camera on it yet, so make sure she flies good. Did see a couple of videos where they said the camera kind of caused some interference. So we go real slow just to see what it does. And this has plenty of power, guys. This thing is really, really fast on the punch out. Very smooth flying quadcopter, very similar to the Sima uh, X8, except rustless. You can't do this with the Sima X8. Can't do that. Very, very windy. How's the uh, pitch? It's good. Uh, pretty decent. That's straight, that's a full forward pitch. Is that high rates or? High rates, this is high rates. Okay. But that is pretty fast, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It has uh, no problem fighting you know, the wind. As you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop the recording too. Look, just go real slow for a minute, get a little more footage. And I'm gonna stop the camera. And like I said, I want to put the X8 camera on here to do it, uh, HC version. Yeah, take it up high up, you get a nice view. I'm a little scared though, because I had seen a video where the camera kind of causes some kind of uh, problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the stock camera, so I don't know. That should be high enough. You yeah, got a nice uh, yeah, all right. view. Bring it back. Right. Go ahead and stop this video as well. Kind of get it leveled out there. Okay, good. Pretty fast, though. For a big uh, camera bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ex extremely fast, honestly. You know, for the kind of uh, quadcopter that it is. I've never seen a fan of that. <laughs> Notice that if you do a lot of punch outs, yeah, yeah, they don't do that. Just kind of fly it around. Go ahead and land it. I do have a couple more batteries, like I said. 
getting footage with the other camera. The LVC was absolutely perfect. When the light started blinking on the X16, it was at a perfect storage level, guys. So that's a really nice feature. And oh, it's 11.4. Somebody had asked me if you could put the phantom props. It does actually screw on here. The problem is though, guys, it's too long. It'll hit the body. This prop is way bigger than a stock prop. So there's a no-go on the phantom props, guys. Unless you crop it. Unless you crop it, yeah. Okay. But then you got to balance it. Yeah. Nice. It really helps. Yeah, it does. Big difference. Giving you a wider angle than a stock camera. Sure. You know, than that little uh, pinhole lens. Yep. All right. This one actually takes the jello out. This does. This is a hard mounted. The stock camera is hard yeah. mounted. The other one has a rubber uh, grommet. Yeah. Where it takes a little bit of the jello out. So that's almost like a metallic washer. Yeah, like a washer is all it is. A you washer. stick onto your stock camera. Stock camera. And then you get three lenses. You get three, well, you get two lenses, but they unscrew, and you can make a third lens out of it. Uh, not really sure. It's like three and a one. They actually come apart. Yeah. Yeah. It's magnetic. So you just yeah, magnetic. I'll show you. Onto that. Washer. Put that right there. Okay. And kind of line it up. Kind of line it up. Perfect. That's it. Now you got quite a <laughs> see it's about five. It, those are about five dollars on a Banggood, and they're made for your uh, cell phone. Oh yes. Yeah, so but they work great good. for anything. Honestly. So we're gonna test it yep. with and without, and see how it goes. This is the other one. This is a little different. It's some like a magnifying type of macro lens or something, I believe. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Macro. Yeah. Macro and fish eye. Color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the two. This is the one I recommend because I had bought another one before, you know, before this, uh, another brand, yeah. and it wasn't very good. So definitely get this one right here. That's the brand you want to get.